OK, question number 18. On Monday, Ravi drives for four hours. His average speed is 30 miles per hour. How far does he drive on Monday? Well, the speed is given in miles per hour, and he drives for four hours, so 30 miles an hour means for every hour he travels he goes 30 miles, so 30 times 4 means he travels 120 miles on Monday. On Tuesday, he drives 200 kilometres. And here's your conversion, 5 miles is 8 kilometres, and the question says, on which day did Ravi drive further? Now, the problem here is this is in kilometres, and Monday's distance is in miles, so we have to do a conversion. Now, I'm going to take the 5 miles equals 8 kilometres, and I'm going to go, do you know what, 50 miles, right, is actually 80 kilometres. Right? And that means that 100 miles must be 160 kilometres, which isn't that far off the, uh, the 120 miles that we're looking at here. So if I can scale this up to be 120, then I've got the kilometres and I can compare this with the 200 here. Now if 100 miles is 160 kilometres, that means that 10 miles must only be 16 kilometres, which further means that 20 miles must be 32 kilometres. Okay. Now I've got 120 miles for Ravi on Monday, and so I'm going to take the 100 miles here and the 20 miles here, and I'm going to combine the two, and that's going to tell me that a 120 miles is the same as 192 kilometres, just by adding the 160 and the 32. So we have a situation where on Monday Ravi drives 120 miles, and... On Tuesday, he drives 200 kilometres, but the 120 miles that Ravi drives on Monday is only 192 kilometres, so he actually drives further on Tuesday. So I would write down, Ravi drives further on Tuesday. And so Tuesday is the, is the real answer that we're looking for, because he goes... 200 kilometres, whereas on Monday he only actually went 192 kilometres. So he's gone 8 kilometres further on Tuesday.